yeah. Uh, as Larry said, I'm the only candidate in the District 2 uh, supervisor race who's against Metro Kate. Uh, district 2, of course, is the district where um, these bills are being proposed, so I think that is very significant. Um, I like what everybody said up here. This is such a great panel, so I think we should all give everybody another round of applause. Jan Saxon, I'm a huge admirer of hers. Um, she, she talked about 1% uh, growth cap we had years ago and how um, the affordable housing requirement uh, was eliminated. Well, I can tell you, if I get elected on my first day in office, I will be proposing that we re-implement that 1% growth cap. <laughs> and that we uh, uh, eliminate uh, the option for developers to pay in lieu of fees, and then we require developers to build affordable housing in our communities. Yeah. Yeah. So, for me, this whole, this whole uh, debate about Measure K has been really intriguing. It's, it really comes down to truth and fiction. And uh, when you get into these debates, I think we all know what the truth is. This, and, and you just have to put out the facts. It's nearly a million square feet of new development. It's four shopping centers. They can call them nodes or whatever they want to call them. These are four shopping centers. There are 120 houses in the plans, despite the fact that um, the Yes on K side just explicitly denies this, even though it, it's literally in the ordinance. So I don't know how that works, but you, you tell them about this housing, and, and even uh, the, the current supervisor just flat out says there's no housing. He gets into debates with people on social media. It is nonsense. There's 120 houses in the plans. And so what I would say going forward, this is really just the beginning. What Andy just talked about with these two initiatives that are coming up, you know, this Measure K debate has been uh, really, uh, it's been really heated. There's been a lot of antagonism. There's been a lot of anger. And, you know, I, I understand that's part of politics. But what I really enjoy about um, being a part of this group is that we stay, in my opinion, we stayed out of that. This has really um, only been about just telling the truth. Um, this is this is urban sprawl by definition. This is leapfrog development. I got to credit Merrick Nassau Velasquez um, brought that term up and, and you just have to think about it for a minute. And of course it's leapfrog development. It, it completely fits the definition of leapfrog development. You're leapfrogging over all of this agricultural space and you're building developments way out here, miles away from core services, it makes absolutely no sense. Um, yeah, and then you get into the, the traffic issues, there's no traffic studies, there's no cost studies. Those are facts. Those are all just facts. And so what I would say going forward with the next two initiatives, because I, I really believe the public can, can feel that. They understand that when you're just telling the truth and you're not getting into just calling people names, being angry, uh, putting laugh emojis on people's comments on social media. Um, just telling the facts really comes out in the end. And I believe that's a big reason why Noah Measure K is going to win. And I think it's a big reason why as long as we stay on track and just tell the facts, talk about how uh, this community's development has exploded and we don't have the traffic infrastructure to support. And that's just the truth. And just tell the truth going forward. And we will win these other battles as well. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. Last thing I want to say is, um, I've also, it's really, the, the, it didn't take very long uh, for me and others like my friend David Huboy to realize when, when, you, when you start to just look at what Measure K is, it doesn't take, and you start to dissect it, just as an objective person. I've been a newspaper, a newspaper man my entire career. I've been an editor for 13 years. I'm trained to be objective. I'm trained to be fair. And I'm telling you that Noah Measure K is absolutely right. And when it comes down to it, I've found that the people in this room, the people on this side, have shown such great character. And this room is full of good people. You know, when you see the, uh, the debates, whether it's social media or whether it's in the forums we've had, and, and there's just a lot of name-calling and antagonism, but in the end, in the end this, is a, this is a group of really good people. I mean, Andy Shakaran, <laughs> Mary Shakaran, 
These people are giving their time, they're giving their lives for causes they believe in. Andy wasn't like it was we talked about earlier, was an educator in prisons. I mean, I don't know what gets more uh, high character than that. All right, Mayor Ignacio Velasquez, he is a family man. He is a true family man. He is a successful businessman. He got involved in Hollister politics because he loves this city. Sam Farr, I cannot think of a greater champion for the environment in the world than Sam Farr. He has represented our community in the finest way and uh, the California coastline, our environment in California is such a precious asset and his entire career, Sam Farr has stood up to protect that and I want to thank him for that. spent two decades as a planner in San Benito County. He spent two decades protecting our assets, protecting our beauty, preserving our world character. This is what he is defined by, Rob Mendiola. <laughs> Jan Saxton. I mean, does it get any better than Jan Saxton? She is really, truly, to me, the heart and soul of a Romus. Um, she's given up a lot for, for our community. She's been involved. She talked about being involved in the general plan process, even though it was a sham. All right? But she goes out of her way to be involved. And so my point is this, that this is a good group of people. And as long as we show that going forward, we show that we're high character, we show that we have good intentions, there's no way we're losing. Thank you.